What's up, YouTube? Joe Ketchapalia again. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about investing in um, private mortgages. Uh, these are specifically private mortgages used for fix and flips. Um, it's a way to get what appears to be a fairly decent return um, in a relatively short-term hold. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on groundfloor.com. I know I mentioned this in a few other videos, uh, taking a break from finding properties on Lofty today. Uh, I am going to get back to that relatively soon. Um, but, you know, this is another platform where it's, you know, fractional investing. You can put very little into start. Um, I actually think, uh, I think on this platform, uh, it may also be um, $50, but I just moved a chunk of money in. Uh, I want to, this one I'm going to do a little bit different than I'm doing on Lofty. I'm not going to be looking at, uh, well, you know what, before that, if you're new here, just so you know, uh, Joe Ketchapalia, I've been investing in real estate for 20 years. Uh, my day job right now is I'm an agent who assists people finding properties to invest here in San Antonio, Texas. I should probably always lead with this. So, you, you know, if you're just new here, you understand um, what I'm doing. Uh, I've been exploring some some ways to invest in real estate in a more in a much smaller scale um, for the people that come to me and aren't yet ready to buy a property, uh, but want to get some exposure to real estate. I think there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, you know, this one that I'm looking at today, ground floor, I think is, is pretty interesting. Uh, you definitely don't have to, you know, put 5,000 or even 1,000. I think you can invest on here, yeah, minimum ten dollars. And so you can actually, if you want to, spend some time, you know, you can when you get on their site, you can actually look at individual loans, um, do research on the properties themselves, uh, what we've been doing on those other fractional uh, investing sites. You can see like what the loan to value score is, what you know how how good the valuation is, if the person doing the flip has skin in the game what they think of the location, the borrower's experience, commitment. Um, this is actually showing you like the, the breakdown of, you know, the skin in the game, how, which is like the money that's coming from the person doing the flip, um, the, the amount that ground floor is providing, and then what they think is the difference between that total budget and what it should be worth at the end. Um, you know, you can, so they, they, they provide you a lot of info. You know, you do um, on these, you get the addresses. So you could do a lot of the same sort of due diligence we're doing on on the other sites. Um, for me, for because of what this is, uh, uh, it's a little bit different here where, you know, the other you know, on Lofty, you're seeing a lot of, you know, it's individuals. It might be someone that just owns a property or two. You're, you're getting a piece of that equity. You might hold it forever. This is actually a piece of a loan that a hard money lender lent to that fix and flipper. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be paid off in a relatively short period of time. Um, I believe, you know, it's usually gonna be a, uh, ooh, how long are these? I think 18 months is gonna be the longest time period, but she not even positive about that. Let's see, loan to value, investor, remaining, projected term, 15 months. Let's look at a couple others. Uh, 15 months. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be relatively short term. And so I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time, um, you know, analyzing an investment that is a debt investment. That's going to be, you know, 15 months. And the reason I make the distinction, you know, is it debt or is it equity? Well, so there is, uh, this is a say, you know, debt in general is a safer position than the equity, right? Like in the event that, uh, whoever is flipping the home, messes it up and they don't sell it for as much as they want to they lose money before us as debt holders would lose money um and so you have a larger cushion you have someone else that is you know in a position to protect you and so because of that i'm actually going to use this platform um in a different way than i'm using the others i'm not going to spend a lot of time uh i had initially you know looked at doing this in a way where I, I would just underwrite individual properties. But I actually think that um, using their, one of their automated tools that makes more sense um, for me because of the amount of time that I want to put into it for the return that I think that I'll get. And so I just uh, just stuck some money in here. 
Um, you know, and again, just because I'm doing this, it doesn't mean it's the right thing for you. You want to definitely do some due diligence on the platform. Um, you know, make sure that you're comfortable with what exactly, you know, it is. But I, I, I liked it when I looked at it. And so um, they have this auto investing, which is not something that I'm planning on doing. But I like this investment wizard. And so, um, you know, I just I'm going to put the amount and I'm just going to invest my whole amount today. So I'm just going to hit next. Um, you know, they have the conservative strategy, moderate strategy, dynamic strategy. And what they're doing here is basically when we were looking at those loans, they all had, um, they, they all, I'm going to click moderate and I'll show you, uh, they all had a rating, you know, B, C, E, D. And so if I go backwards, you can see these colors correspond to what that rating is. So. Basically, these are going to take all the middle of the road ones, but not the absolute best ones. There aren't any that match the conservative strategy today anyway. Um, there are some, there are less that match this. And so I don't want these absolute worst loans. Um, I don't know. They just don't have any of the, the very best, but those are going to come with lower, lower return anyway. But, they, you know, they have a whole bunch that match this moderate strategy. So I'm going to go ahead and go to review. Um, and it just so it just automatically picked an amount for each of these that it's going to invest that it's suggesting that I invest, um, and it adds up to the amount that I wanted to put in. And you can see, um, you know, we we've got a range. We've got mostly B's and C's. I saw an E in there, uh, a D, another D, and so you can see like those those are you know riskier, but they come with a higher return. We've got a fifteen. Uh oh. What did I just do? Anything on my desktop I don't want you to see? I think that's all fine. Um, but you, yeah, I'll look at it later before I post this and just make sure. But I don't think there should be anything on there um, that I'm worried about anybody seeing. Uh, but so, I don't know how I did that. I, I got something on my touchpad, I think, and it. All right, there we go. Uh, you know, but you see, you know, the the higher risk ones come with a higher return. And this rate, this is actually the interest rate, right? But you say, well, why wouldn't I want all that interest rate? Well, you're going to have a higher default rate on some of these. And so you might not realize, you might not actually get that full return, um, you know, on average out of them, because some of them are going to go bad. And so one of the things, if if I were, you know, did want to do a little bit more due diligence, uh, you could use that wizard and then come in here and just on the riskiest ones, make sure that we're okay with it. And if, as long as we are, you know, just leave it. Um, as far as also too, I wanted to point out, um, I didn't do a ton of research on exactly what that piece of mortgage is. Um, I will say, you know, we're not at, you know, we don't actually have an individual note for this amount. Uh, there's, you know, there's a, somewhat not convoluted but we have a, a secondary sort of ownership structure in that uh it's something that you know if you if you want to take the time and read up on I'd, I'd i'd welcome you to do um but i think you know one of the things that i i why i like this you know other than okay you're getting pretty high interest rates you can get very broad diversification i mean this is just a lot different than the than the um investing I'm doing in real estate. And, and I do actually own a couple of private mortgages as well, where, you know, I sold a piece of land, I'm taking payments, or I sold a home and I'm taking payments. Um, and so I actually, you know, had an attorney draft up a note and mortgage where I'm the lender and I get payments over time. And that's great. Uh, but, you know, a small one of those for me might be $30,000. And I mean, I have uh, one large one on a home that is, you know, a, a sort of uncomfortable per, percent of my net worth. Um, and so being able to buy all these little pieces, um, you know, it's pretty attractive to me. Now, uh, the returns that you're get, I'm getting on these are a little bit lower than if I created my own. Um, but, you know, it, it's still something that I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm creating some some you know, asset class diversification, but also some like, uh, 
the type of investing it is. It's, it's just a little bit different. So, yeah, I have no control over these if they go bad, but I also I don't have to deal with them if they do. And so I can make a hundred and eighty dollar investment and trust that, you know, somebody else is going to go after this person if they don't pay. It's not it's not my job. I definitely if you decide to do this, you, you want to read these. Uh, I did open these and scroll through them and uh you know, I feel comfortable with it, but again, that doesn't mean that you should, and you know, you should, uh, you know, do your own due diligence on that as well. But so then, this is how I like this tool, though. I got to the end of it before, but wanted to pull the trigger on here. Um, there we go. Congratulations, you successfully invested. Blended rate, so it tells you me my blended rate across all these loans. Um, you know, I think this is this platform. I'm not going to spend nearly as much time talking about as I am on the ones where I'm doing individual due diligence on properties. Um, but I, but I think that you know I will check in over time, um, and so you know, and let you know. Okay, see, so it's showing me absolutely nothing. Right, expected rate forming extended default. I wonder why. I may, you know, maybe it just is going to take a little bit. Um, I'll check in on this another time in the future. Qualifying investment, zero current rewards. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, I'll have to see. I do know some of those, they might not actually uh, complete the transaction until they're all the way full. I know this is this has come up a few times now, right? When I was showing you on Lofty, um, both of the transactions that I did while recording uh didn't work out one is actually still pending because i pulled from my account instead of from the wallet on there i fixed that the one i tried to do on there yesterday um just hung up and failed when i was on uh, recording as soon as i shut it off it went through so i kind of think that maybe it was having a hard time with the internet because I'm, i was recording as well but in any case um this is scary right my money's gone but i don't have the notes yet so, you know, I'm actually not really that worried about it, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, check back in once, once everything is in there. Um, and I might just give you, you know, uh, updates every once in a while on how, how the notes are performing. Um, one of the things, you know, I won't really know for 15 months, right? And so this is definitely a, a long-term project uh, and something that... Um, you know, like I said, when I started doing videos again, is there's a lot of different ways to invest in small, you know, small amounts of money in real estate. And I'm going to just start experimenting with a bunch of them uh, and let you know how they go. And so this is this is my first foray into ground floor. Um, I, I like the platform. I like all the research I did on them. It makes me think this is going to work out well, uh, but we will only know. Uh, only time will tell. So uh, until next time, I'll, I'll keep looking for the next thing to uh, talk to you about.